So we're just going to wrap up now with the, the last section and it, it's, uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to just channel John. I'm just going to kind of connect with him. He, this is his picture. He's 25 forever. John the Beloved. Um, behind me is actually his sanctuary. Um, I have his pictures and stuff in there. Lots of pictures. And uh, yeah, so let's just see what he has to say to the world for right now. I'm just going to close my eyes for a minute and connect and I'll be right back. So John's smiling right now. He's, he's, he's really happy. He's happy. Uh, okay. So he's here. Very powerful. Oh, wow. So John is here. And what he'd like to say to humanity at this point in time is that within every single human being, within every single soul that walks the planet is pure light and pure love. That the human conditioning can sometimes block out that light. That we all have wounds that block out that light. We all have fears that block out that light. But part of our purpose for being here is to take on those wounds, to take on that conditioning, to take on that fear so that we can break through it. So that we can move beyond it. So that we can walk through all this temptation that is here in this beautiful planet. And we can stay true to our truest heart and only choose that which aligns with our truth. That which opens up the doors so that more light, more of the light of God, the universe, the God of your understanding, whoever and whatever that is, can shine forth in you and through you and for you. And as you walk, opening up those doors and opening up those windows and allowing all those challenges to make you stronger. You become that light. And as you shine that light that's inside of you, that is your true nature, you light up the world and you become the light of the world. And then you light up more lights and you become the example of light. And as the example of light, more people light up. And that's how the world becomes light and the world transforms into the beautiful kingdom of heaven, the garden that, it, that already exists here now. We just don't always see it because we're in our mind and we're in our interpretations. But when we're still and we're in our heart, and we're in that place of peace, we do see it. Thank you for sharing, John. Thank you, Paco Lopez, for sharing your Thank you. wisdom. Thank you, Grace. Yeah. Appreciate it. I, I thank you for having me on. And uh, it's been an honor and a pleasure to, to share with you. So thank you for sharing with me as well. It's been an honor and a privilege. Thank you for joining us on Grace on Fire. Paco Lopez, namaste to you and to all of you listening. Thank you for sharing all your beauty, Paco. And we're wishing you all a beautiful and blessed day. Namaste.